So I want to take a moment and talk a little bit about Iron Chef. When I first learned about this edgy protocol or lesson frame, that's all it really is. I was a little confused um, because I'd done things like this before, but I didn't really understand what made this different than me just giving them an article, having them make a slide and put information in the slide. Um, a lot of people have done that. So two big things that I found um, after reading some blog posts and looking at things further and just better understanding what made this that next step of engagement that went beyond just, we're gonna take a slide, we're gonna read an article, and we're gonna put information in the slide. And the two big things that I saw is A, doing this over and over again and having those repetitions and setting time limits. So oftentimes when I did this in the classroom, I like students were always telling me, I need more time, I need more time. And so I was always extending the time and finding that we never really got any faster. So one of the big keys to using the Iron Chef is set your time 10 minutes. The first time you do it, make sure it's just a fun topic, something students will enjoy, maybe their favorite meal, um, maybe a favorite trip somewhere or a favorite location that they have, something that's definitely going to be um, adaptable to all of your students, depending on what school you're at and what age group you're working with. The other thing um, is setting that time limit and saying 10 minutes. 10 minutes and we're presenting with whatever you have. Maybe you only got two, to, two bullet points down, you don't have a picture, you're presenting with whatever you have. And then the more repetitions you do, the better students will get at it. And they'll understand like, okay, I've got 10 minutes, I've got to get busy. Um, the other thing that makes this a hook is the secret ingredient, which kind of threw me for a loop at first. Um, and the secret ingredient, it can be a picture, it can be a GIF or GIF, however you want to say that. It could be a meme, it could be a little TikTok video, it could be um, something that students create, it could be a music track. It's basically something digital that's going to hook students in. So let's say I am creating an Iron Chef. I'm talking about a famous battle and I want them to add a meme. What meme captures the essence of that famous battle? And it can be something funny. You can add humor in it. It's meant to um, add some lightness to maybe some heavier topics. Maybe it's a song. Um, what song would they have been playing as their ballad during um, this event that you're researching? You can do this in a ton of different ways too. You can give each student their own slide in Google Classroom and start with single slides. You could do a, a group and have um, the group working through the slides. Maybe you preload the item name or topic at the top and then students are doing more with that. Maybe everyone is doing the same exact topic, but you have a whole bunch of different articles. There's so many different ways you can customize this. There isn't really a wrong way to do the Iron Chef protocol. I would just say a couple things to keep in mind. One, go back to your hard time limits, set those in, in especially when they're presenting, um, setting that clock and, and letting them present, and then keep practicing. So repetition is key, your time limits are key, and then um, just think about how you want to incorporate the different ingredients of Iron Chef. So here is a little quick picture of the ingredients. Um, I did read a blog post on tweaking for no reason, and um, it was talking about the adventures and edgy protocols. And the one thing that I loved is um, when they talked about the secret ingredient being like the hook, just like the TV show, um, started with like, okay, the secret ingredient might be basketball, we're in the middle of March Madness, and then opting for, okay, the secret ingredient is going to be music, something universal that all students can get involved in. What song might hook with that or what genre of music? Um, there's so many things out there. Have students come up with their own secret ingredients once you get rolling and students really understand what a secret ingredient is. So it's like a brain dump where they're trying to get all this information in there. It's a great way to start a brand new topic that you're introducing. So you want 
item name or your topic name or a maybe you want to preload that with some type of prompt at least three inter attributes or memories of and this wouldn't say necessarily tech but it would be resource a picture of the item and then whatever that secret ingredient might be so hopefully that helps you process i almost needed this moment to process myself and understand what this made this a little bit different than just our dumps of nonsense into Google Slides that someone stands up and labors on and presents. So it's meant to have real quick presentation, got a lot of information out there, and it might be a great way to start a brand new unit so that you can all build some quick background knowledge as you begin.